right here. I hope everybody's having a blessed uh, Saturday. God and angels have been great to me all week. I'll be doing an information video to counteract what happened on Tuesday. So everybody understands. I hope everybody stay tuned for that. And uh, stuff. But here's my book. It's doing well. And the other book, I'm going to take three months off to uh, get it done in April to June. This is what I looked like when I was 310 pounds. And we're going to do a two bean chili. I already uh, cooked the beans. I did them last night before we went out. And we got all these seasonings here to get our meat. And our meat's going in there. And I've got some fresh mint, parsley, garlic, and onion. And then we got all our seasonings. No, I do not brown my meat in oil. Never have. Um, we're using a half a pound ground turkey. I squished it up. That's why it looks like that. But I do measure my, um, when I do the meat and stuff, I actually, how I do it is, uh, move my table here. I actually measure it out, you know, I put it in, in tin foil and stuff like that. So, my hair fell down, oh well. It ain't the first time. <laughs> So, but it's, this is a great, uh, two bean chili is with pinto beans and black beans. So the first thing we're going to do is use some garlic salt because we want to get garlic salt. And I don't measure, just start with a teaspoon. I just shake, rattle and roll. Garlic powder, onion powder. You're going to use a tab tablespoon of lemon juice. And I know there's a tablespoon in there. Because I measured it out earlier and put it back in the bottle. Because I was hoping I didn't have to open a new one. Two tablespoons of Worcestershire. I just shake. Accent. And then while this is browning, we're going to add this all these seasonings to the beans too. Poppy seed. Canine pepper. Okay. And I did really good workouts. I pulled 210 this week. I, my circuits are going good. Uh, I did try to get out of that med ball, but that didn't work too good. My trainer says, I think I had a cumin. I had to knock it out of your hand. And I said, man, and I was like, don't do that. That's what Andrew would do. And Andrew just sit there and I said, what? I said, yeah, you would knock it out of my hand. And he says, I should do that and make you pick it up. I said, no, I don't think so. Tarragon. Pepper. Italian seasoning. Basil. Oregano. I really truly believe that working out is the best way to lose the weight. Uh, my doctor was old fashioned sea salt. He did not believe and having me uh, garlic, I mean, this is seasoned salt. He did not believe in that weight loss surgery. His was get in the gym. So that's what I've been doing ever since onion powder. And I mean, not onion powder, garlic, chili powder. So to be where I'm at today, my sixth year is great. Um, I'm in a much better health, you know, my health wise is good. Um, I really do count the carbs and stuff. And this week having somebody in my life for the week was different, but they accommodated with it. And, and it was nice because they weren't picking on me. I have to live this way. This is part of my life is the way that I eat. Um, I've heard down in the hole, the nutcase. That's why I'm coming back on this afternoon because she said I don't eat this way and I do. I, the lady's just a scorned bitch, and she, her husband doesn't love her, but yet she got to take it on somebody, you know? So. And then we're going to have... And we're going to add a couple tomatoes, cut up a couple tomatoes. And see, this is what I like. 
by the time this gets done, it gives it a really good flavor in the meat. And the meat has a great flavor. And you, there's nothing to drain. It, it, it cooks right into the meat and there's no oil. You don't have all the extra fat. And carbs from the oils and stuff. So now we're gonna come over here, cut our tomatoes up, and put them in the uh, beans. Drinking my 15. Here's our beans. I used uh, 16 ounce, two 16 ounce bags of beans on, because in this one that you're not putting any vegetables in except for the two tomatoes, right here. You're going to cut those and that's it. And you're going to use your tomato juice. So. Something. This is a. Since we already have a salad. I figured there's no use. And with all the beans. I didn't want to put all the vegetables in there. To be where I'm at today. Is a really good place. Because. Um, I. And Finally at a point where I feel like I'm comfortable in my skin, like you've heard in my videos. I also, you know, feel good about myself because of the accomplishment. I don't feel like, you know, people are picking on me and looking at me sort of strange. Oh, wow, you know, here you are, this fat woman. I'm not fat anymore. And I did this for myself because they already told me I can't gain the weight back. If I gain any weight back, my heart will not take it. Um, just like all the drama I had this week. Well, the drama is still going on, but I'm going to counteract that in a little while. But, unfortunately, it is what it is. You know, when you get scorned bitches, they're just going to take... And, and I never thought that people would really just be this jealous over me. It's like, wow. You know, it's just insane. But it is what it is. So then, we just gonna mix this up. I cut the tomatoes, as you can see. I'll show you here. This is a really good, I have done this one before, and it turned out really good. Um, the only thing is, I tried it once with the vegetables, and I felt that the vegetables didn't, it didn't work right with all the beans. And I was like, why well, am I not doing that? So, I wasn't going to do it this time. I wasn't going to do that because that was something that uh, happened the last time. And it was like, wow, this doesn't work. So, I thought, no, if we ain't doing it this time, we're just going to put the tomatoes in, which the tomatoes and tomato juice, and then brown our meat, put that in there with our seasonings. And that's how I did it the last time. Look at that. the can into me. That's right there. Okay. Put it for the can into me. Okay. Put the can into me. And our meat's just about ready to uh, put in the beans, and then we get that rolling. That's one thing um, I feel that with this one here, it's super easy and super quick. Um, you don't need a lot of ingredients. And the only thing that takes the longest is the beans. I let them soak overnight. And then in the morning when I get up, like today, I had to sweep them out my floor. So I just, I sweep every day, but I mop only certain days. And so I went ahead and did that. And I just turned the beans on and let them cook. And that's how I do it. I can show you how it's cooking. And it, it cooks right down into it, the meat. It, the juices cook right into the meat, and that's what I want.
and then we'll break here in a minute and then we'll come back and we'll put this in the pan and add our seasonings and let it cook super super easy taste that too because it is done and make sure there's enough seasoning on that meat. Yep. We're good. So, I'm going to break here. I'll be back to put the meat in the pan. And we'll go from there. So don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and I'll be right back.